know if Google is still supporting ALEC, which is that fund, they're um, lobbyists in D.C. that are funding climate change deniers. Um, we funded them as part of a political came for something unrelated. I think the consensus within the company was that that was sort of a mistake. The facts of climate change are not in question anymore. Everyone understands climate change is occurring, and the people who oppose it are really hurting our children and our grandchildren and making the world a much worse place. And so we should not be aligned with such people. So we should not be aligned with such people. Welcome back to the Steve Mullen. Alan Unger over at Sirius XM Radio. Joining me today in the co-hosting chair is legendary political journalist, commentator, and author John Fund. Google Executive Chairman Eric Schmidt announced that the company will be severing all ties with the American Legislative Exchange Council, ALEC for short. Due to the group's stance on climate change, Schmidt didn't like Alec's position on climate change, and that led Google to drop its support for the group. We're joined by Alec CEO Lisa Nelson. Lisa, for those of us who are not aware of uh, what your group does, just give us a quick overview of what the work of Alec actually is. Sure, and uh, thank you for having me on. Um, Alec is a 41-year-old organization that is primarily focused on drafting model policy for um, limited government and free markets across the state. We are legislator-driven, meaning that the state legislators around the country are our members. And then we've also got the other half of the coin, which is foundations, think tanks, and corporate members um, giving input and participating in that dialogue, that exchange of ideas that's so important for legislators as they craft this model policy. So, um, so we're very Alec, excited I, to be. Lisa, yep. Lisa, I uh, I've spoken at a couple of Alec events, and I've met many of the state legislators who are your members, and I'm a little curious because I know that Alec takes positions on things like tax credits and tax subsidies for renewable energy, but I wasn't aware, frankly, that you had a position on climate change. Is Eric Schmidt being accurate from Google? You know, it's so funny because um, Alec has actually no policy on climate change. And if you go on our website, you will see all of the policies that we do have. What we do recommend and um, encourage is that companies that have the resources and companies that can do it seek renewable energy policies on their own. A lot of corporations out there are sitting on huge cash reserves um, of money, and they can seek those renewable energy solutions on their own. We don't support mandates or subsidies, um, which would be the government kind of picking, you know, the winners and losers. But just to be clear, Alec doesn't have a policy on climate change and doesn't have an intention to, to put one out there. Thanks for asking. So, Lisa, Lisa, knowing that we were going to be doing the story today, I got a little bit curious, and I went online to see if Google and Yahoo, you know, the, the Silicon Valley companies, were the only ones who had decided to drop out because of this. I have to tell you, I was stunned. I have pages here of companies starting with Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Kraft, Intuit, McDonald's, Wendy's, Mars, on and on and on, companies that have ceased their affiliation with Alec. Is this all over climate change, or is there something else going on here? Well, you know, there's definitely something else going on here. This is a systematic um, campaign designed by, by the professional activists on the left to try to defund Alec, which is you know, what they see as a very Lisa. effective organization. But these are not left. This is why I was surprised. I would actually agree with that statement. But knowing some of these companies, they're not companies that I would identify with the left. I know the companies on the left. I'm one of those guys who's supposed to be leaning on the left. So uh -huh. I, I, I have to tell you, I was absolutely shocked. Coca-Cola is not a left-leaning company. You know, and Coca-Cola dropped out. So the campaign began about three years ago, and the first issue du jour was the Stand Your Ground laws back in 2011, where um, a lot of a lot of grief was brought up to companies that I represented. Visa, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, all were approached at the same time to drop Alec over the Stand Your Ground laws, and that was manifested in the the, the tragedy in Florida with Trayvon Martin. Following that, it was Dick Durbin who sent a letter to 300 CEOs across the country saying you should leave ALEC uh, because of the stance that they take on different issues. Dick Durbin being and a now, senator from Illinois And now the current issue is the climate change. 
Well, it sounds like a moving target. What do you think the goal of these groups are? Because look, I know a lot of companies aren't exactly profiles in courage and they don't want controversy. What do you think the goal of the, this orchestrated campaign that you claim is happening is? In about 15 seconds, Lisa, sorry, we're just about out of time. I, I think their goal is intimidation and corporate blackmail and they, they're even telling Democrat legislators who are business friendly not to be members of ALEC. So, you know, we want that dialogue and exchange of a nonpartisan Republicans and Democrats with business involved and think tanks. And that's what we're going to so, continue to, to build on. So, Lisa, I'd like to carry this on at some point in the future because I am very curious about this. Alec has always been awfully good at this. But we will get you back. Up next, the Malsberg panel with Jessica Tarlov, Democratic political strategist, and our friend Noel Nickpour, Republican strategist. Stay with us.